um, she's um, she's fabulous. Her name is Alexandra Hado. But I think we've established that we are. <laughs> Give me a cheer if you're more than eight out of ten drunk. Hey. Woo! Yeah. 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 Race. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite difficult growing up with a dad who is Scottish when you're English because he knows he should love you but instinctively he wants to fight you. you know I mean? <laughs> um, so yeah, it's hard for me not drinking at the moment and also you can't pull as a Brit if you're not drinking, can you? Give me a cheer. All the Brits in here, give me a cheer. Hey. Americans, we got Americans? Hey. hey! I was going to say you would have heard them by now. Yeah. <laughs> You guys are doing your country proud, you seem like you're getting on it, right? Oh, yeah. Americans are appalled, generally, not you. You're welcome for it's fine. Americans are generally appalled by how much we drink, aren't they, right? I would say the average American drinks in a month what we Brits would drink alone to prepare for a first day. <laughs> Shop us up a bit, do you know what I mean? And it's hot, like, Americans are really good at pulling. You guys are really forward. They're good at it, right? It's weird. As a British person, our way of pulling is to have, like, 18 to 19 pints. <laughs> and then just sort of the end of the night, just sort of fall on the person that we fancy. <laughs> and if they pull us, absolute bonus. <laughs> uh, and if they don't, you can say, well, I was just falling. <laughs> I always have a backup pint, okay? But Americans, they don't need booze, they're really forward, they just go for it. I was in a bar in Highgate about three or four months ago, and a guy came up to me and he went, hey, I think you're really cute, can I have your number? And I was like, fuck off, you pervert. <laughs> That's not how we do things around here, are they? You haven't even bought me 12 drinks, I can still see! <laughs> Disgusting. That's quite hard. Um, but I found the only people that are more forward than Americans. Do you know who they are? Mancunians. <laughs> you got any Mancunians in? Hey. <laughs> I was in a bar in Manchester last week, okay, I was stood at the bar, and this lad comes up to me and he went, excuse me, love. I went, yeah? He said, do you mind if my mate fingers you for a bit? <laughs> I wish this was a bit that I'd make up. <laughs> I'm not joking, right? And then the guy goes to me, I said, sorry. And he went, yeah. And he pointed, and his mate was outside the window having a fag, and he went... <laughs> <laughs> and what, what I loved about that was, Guilty. for a bit. <laughs> Character. We've already had trainer wars here, okay? <laughs> this guy owns 200 pairs of trainers but didn't own a passport. <laughs> yeah. And when he woke up in my room the morning after we first slept together, he looked around my room and went, Why have you got so many fucking books? <laughs> I was like, Well, it was to educate myself, but I can see that that has been pointless because <laughs> you are here. <laughs> I'm a modern woman, I was in a new relationship, so I did the responsible thing, went to go and get an STI test, right? <laughs> Give me a chance, this kid is like, oh my god, STI test! <laughs> it's a good thing, give me a chance if you have been for an STI test. <laughs> <laughs> it's the one that are hard cheering you want to be fucking wearing. <laughs> Any untested couples in the room, give me a chip. No, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> I split up three, three couples so far. <laughs> So I went to get an STI test, okay, and I'll be honest, I'm sorry this is a bit graphic, it's because every time I slept with this new guy, I kept getting a, kept getting a rash, right? And I was like, yeah, no, I'm sorry, right? And I was like, fuck, I should have trusted my instincts, what's he given me, fuck's sake. 
So I went for all the tests, went back in for the results, they said, no, 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 you're all clear, you're absolutely fine. Uh, what's happened is, it's actually quite a common problem, you're actually allergic to your new boyfriend's sperm. Oh. I know, right? And I said, that's so weird, because I haven't got a rash all over my face. <laughs> drinks okay and I thought right this is the opportunity to try and pull him um, but what you've got to do in these situations is because it was it was one of those things where you have to you you're gonna go out for two drinks then it becomes 18 pints right okay that was one of those nights and in those situations you have to have what I call a buffer okay you have to have a friend that stays out with you to the end so the night out seems bigger than it actually is and then the guy stays out and then you eventually can get drunk enough to pull him okay we all familiar with this because people start yeah exactly people start going home and you're like fuck he's gonna go home right that sounds very predatory but that's how it works okay? and in this case the buffer was my friend sarah okay and i was like sarah please we stay out with me come on please we just stay out so i can try and pull him she was like alex it's tuesday i've got a job interview in the morning and i, I panicked and i just went Shots! <laughs> well, let's do some shots! You love shots! Come on, we don't just do shots anymore on a Tuesday! Come on, no fun anymore, Sarah, right? But it all changes on a knife edge about an hour later when you realise that actually you might be in with a chance of pulling the guy, and then you're like, fuck off, Sarah! <laughs> <laughs> fuck off home, look with your eyes, Sarah! Jesus! <laughs> Stop being such a bloody third wheel! For God's sake! <laughs> Sarah believes her own hype. She's had seven shots. She's like, Whoa! let's get to Inferno's! <laughs> Never Inferno's. Right? Now, look, long story short, Sarah didn't get the job. <laughs> I'm a bad friend. <laughs> okay, my pack her off in a taxi home, then it's just me and this guy. You have to keep extending the night as a British person. You can't possibly just say, look, I like you and you like me. We can't do that, okay? Americans, you know this. Do you live here? <laughs> Not in this club. <laughs> yeah, so you know, that, yeah, that's what we have to do, right? So uh, I was like, right, should we go to another bar? No bars open. Should we go to an off license? That's shut. Do you want to come back to mine and watch a film? Twelve years a slave. <laughs> <laughs> and watch twelve years a slave. I it, right? And you, you just both collude the illusion that that's what you're going back to do. And he was like, yes. I just, Love to come back to yours on what's now half twelve on a Tuesday and watch this quite frankly <laughs> horrific film about uh, Russian. Uh, I was like, well, off we go then. <laughs> so we walk to mine. I bring him back to mine, and in these situations where it's unplanned, you're just praying that you've got some classy booze in the house. And you're like, but all you've got is the remnants of like eight house parties. Okay, so I'm just there like, uh, Chinzano Lucas A. Stretching. <laughs> Probably a delicacy in some, you know, rehabs. Come on! <laughs> so I pour us two gin and milks on the rocks. Uh, actual rocks, not ice, I'm very poor. Uh, and then I was like, do you want the tour? Here's a tip. Nobody has ever given a shit about the tour of your rented flat <laughs> in London. Oh, is this a partition wall? Oh, amazing. Yeah, it's cool. <laughs> I mean, life about to get late, okay? But you both do the charade, right? And then by this time, it's about two o'clock, I'm finally going into my room, trying to stream 12 years <laughs> By the way, the only gender stereotype I adhere to is the fact that only men know how to stream TV shows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is just a fact. I'm not being sexist. It's absolutely true. On the day that women were taken out of the classroom to learn about periods, men learned how to get Game of Thrones the same day it's released in America. <laughs> That's just how things work. I don't know rules, okay? So I'm trying to, do, I'm trying to stream 12 years to save us, we've got our gin and milk, and we're in my room by this point, and as a British person, you have to wait till the very, very last second just to go in for the kiss. Just on the off chance that they turn around to you and go, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> I came back here to watch 12 years of slave and have a gin and milk, thank you very much. <laughs> Guys, you've been absolutely wonderful. I'm here to
Alexandra 